In the world of armored warfare, old platforms get new life through smart upgrades. Serbia just unveiled a tank that could change the game for T-72 derivatives. What makes the M84AS3 a standout? Let's explore its secrets step by step. The M84 story begins in the turbulent Cold War era. Developed as Yugoslavia's indigenous take on the Soviet T-72M export model, the M84 was born from a desire for self-reliance in armored forces. Studies kicked off in 1980, with actual work starting in 1983. Unvolving over 240 factories across the Federation, production ramped up, and the tank entered service with the Yugoslav People's Army in 1984, hence its name. By 1991, around 650 units had rolled off the assembly line, making it a cornerstone of Balkan defense. At its core, the M84 is a refined T-72, a low-profile main battle tank with a three-man crew, commander, gunner, and driver, thanks to an autoloader. It packs a punch with a 125mm 2A46 smoothbore gun, firing APFSDS, HEAT, and HEFRAG rounds, stabilized for firing on the move. Secondary armament includes a 7.62mm coaxial PKT machine gun and a 12.7mm NSV anti-aircraft gun on the roof. Armor? Multi-layered composite with up to 450mm equivalent against kinetic threats, plus rubber side skirts for added protection. Power comes from a Yugoslav upgraded V46 TK diesel engine churning out 1,000 horsepower for a top speed of 72 kilometers per hour on roads and a range of 650 kilometers. It can ford 1.2 meters of water unaided, or 5 meters with a snorkel, and features full NBC, nuclear biological chemical protection. The fire control system, dubbed SUVM84, was a domestic innovation, analog with digital backups, integrating laser rangefinders, ballistic computers, and day-night sights like the TNP-165 for the gunner. This made it more accurate than the base T-72, especially at night or in motion. Early variants like the M84A late 1980s added improved optics and engine tweaks, while the M84AB introduced Stora-1 infrared jammers and AT-11 sniper anti-tank guided missile launchers, boosting export appeal. The 2010s brought new threats, tandem warhead and drones, forcing a rethink. Serbia's Military Technical Institute in Belgrade spearheaded the active protection system modernization, aiming to extend the M84's life into the 21st century. These upgrades tackled T-72 weaknesses head-on. The turret and hull received M19 modular explosive reactive armor, a second-generation Serbian design rivaling Russia's Relict, in protection against shaped charges. It covers more surface than older Contact 5, with better placement for side and top threats. The main gun stayed 125 mm, but got a thermal shroud and new ammo. Enhanced APFSDS for better penetration and airburst HE for anti-drone rolls. Fire control leaped forward with integrated day-night thermal sights, laser radar warning receivers, and a digital ballistic computer. A 12.7mm remote-controlled weapon station lets the commander engage targets safely from inside. Add automatic fire suppression, improved situational awareness, and soft-kill jammers to spoof incoming missiles. Mobility holds at 1,000 horsepower, but proposals for a domestic 1,200 horsepower engine hint at future boosts. Overall, 21 new subsystems enhance survivability, precision, and networking making AS-2 a match for modern T-90s without breaking the bank. Fast forward to September 20th, 2025. At Serbia's Strength of Unity parade in Belgrade, the M84 AS-3 made its surprise debut, confirmed by the Ministry of Defense as the fleet's new pinnacle. Building on active protection system, it integrates cutting-edge defenses amid rising global tensions. The headline? an active protection system that looks just like Israel's Iron Fist from Elbit Systems. Turret mounted with 360-degree radar and IR sensors, it detects threats at up to 1.5 kilometers and fires blast-slash-frag interceptors in seconds, neutralizing RPGs, drones, 
and top attack munitions with 90% success against kinetics. Serbia's strong Israel ties, buying tech and exporting arms since October 2023, make this a natural fit, even as Europe strains over Gaza.